Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Third World Colombian, aka Three Dub, aka Three Dub C. Um, I just want to make a video real quick, um, or a pre-recorded video. This is actually my first one that I'm doing because I really don't do this YouTube shit like that. But I wanted to talk about a topic, um, that um, I noticed that is very touchy to a lot of people, particularly uh, black folks. Um, so recently, I want to say maybe a couple weeks ago, this, um, story broke out about this white dude, uh, Jason Pope, aka DJ Kid, right? Now, this dude was basically knowingly passing out, uh, sexually transmitted disease, uh, uh specifically HIV to black grown women and black underage, uh, girls, right? And um, when I first saw this shit, I shook my head. I'm like, man, this, you know, that's some fucked up shit, man. You know, he deserved to be locked up or, you know, whatever. It, shit, even the death penalty will do with me when it comes to his ass. But, see, here's the issue, though. The issue is that a lot of these men hopped on these panels and they basically spoke um the unspoken truth about what really goes on with these um black women uh when it comes to dealing with uh white men and uh about these um young black girls who like to deal with uh older guys right now in american society it is looked down or frowned upon if an older guy messes around or fucks with a younger woman. It's looked at as being a pedophile, it's looked at as being a predator and all of that. And I get all of that part, right? I get that part, right? But see, here's the unspoken truth that a lot of people don't want to bring up or don't want to face. The fact is this. A lot of young girls, um, when they're in that, teenager stage of high school like let's say from ninth grade to 12th grade right and you know and some even younger than that some eighth grade or whatever right the problem is is a lot of young girls at that age are very sneaky they're very um promiscuous and a lot of these young girls like my uh you know like my grandmother used to say back in the day you know they you know some fast ass little girls i mean let's just call it for what it is you know i'm a type of person you know i don't sugarcoat nothing I, I speak my mind i say what i gotta say whether somebody likes it or not so it is what it is but what i notice is that you know anytime a older man gets caught with a younger chick you know they want to put all the blame and all the onus on a man which i get it you know he's a grown-ass man but we never tend to look at the women or the girls that mess with this guy. And my thing is this. The question that I have to everybody that feels like he was the only one wrong in that situation. And that the girls, the underage girls that he was messing with shouldn't be held accountable. Because of whatever reason they were too young or they were young, dumb, full of cum. Whatever, you, whatever the excuse is that you want to give, right? My question that I've asked people, and I've asked this in several people's chat, and I have yet to receive an answer on this, but my question is this. At what age does a teenager supposed to know right from wrong and supposed to know that whatever decision they make has an outcome and a consequence? See, life is all about choices and the choices that we make. Um, you have people in this life that make bad choices. You have people in this life that make good choices. And then you have people that make a combination of both. But the thing about it is this. At what age are you supposed to be competent enough or understanding enough to know, well, you know what? I shouldn't do this because if I do this, it's a possibility that X, Y, and Z can come out from this situation. And I don't want none of that smoke from X, Y, and Z because... It might be a situation that I might not be able to control after the shit hits the fan. And that's the question that I want to know. At what age should these teenagers know right from wrong and know better than to be messing with older guys or messing with older women if it's guys messing with... At what age? Because I'm going to say this. 
for young black boys by the time we turn 15 years old maybe 16 we know right from wrong we know what the fuck we supposed to be doing and we know what we not supposed to be doing and on top of that you know anytime a young black boy that's it from the ages of 15 up until 18 and even after that anytime that young black male makes a mistake he's going to get held accountable for that mistake you know depending on the severity of the mistake and the severity of that situation you know sometimes it's jail sometimes it's probation other times it's you know death and you know you know it just depends on the situation but again young boys can get held accountable this is why if a kid let's say a young black male is like 15 years old and he goes out and he commits a murder well guess what that 15 year old uh young black male when he goes to court he goes to trial he's not going to be looked at by the jury and by the court as a young black male who didn't know no better he's going to get looked at as a grown ass adult man that should have known better that should have known what he was doing and it doesn't matter if he had his father in his life if you know it doesn't matter that if he you know his mom was there talking right from wrong or didn't none of that shit matters because at the end of the day when you a black man in this country, regardless of age, they look at you like you should know better. You know what I'm saying? And this is why you see 15-year-old, 16-year-old kids getting tried as adults in, uh, in, in court and shit. And now these 15, 16-year-old kids got to go do uh, real time in, in jail with grown-ass adults. But yet, anytime you know a young girl makes a mistake... You know, she's going to get a pass. She's going to get looked at as, oh, she doesn't know what she's doing. Oh, she doesn't know any better. She's a woman. So, you know, she couldn't be a threat or she can't, you know, she couldn't have been capable of this and all this kind of stuff. See, all the excuses that women get for fuck ups in life and all the passes that women get for they screw ups in life. Men don't have that luxury of receiving those same excuses and, and passes. We don't have that luxury. You know, whatever we do, we have to just live with the outcome and the consequences of it. So this is why you have a lot of men that are frustrated with a lot of these women who act like as if they don't know what the fuck is really going on when it comes to making certain decisions that can have certain outcomes when they know damn well, you know, what the situation is and what the outcomes can, can have. Trust me, when I was young... I knew it was certain things I could get away with that I wouldn't really suffer no consequences for. And I knew it was other things that I couldn't do that I could possibly suffer some consequences for if I chose to engage in that type of behavior. You know what I'm saying? I, I knew that at the ages of 15 and 16. So, again, my question is, what's the excuse for a black uh, young girl that's 15, 16? You, you trying to tell me at 15 and 16 they're not aware and fully understanding of Knowing, oh, I shouldn't be fucking with this older guy because, you know, he has more experience in life than me. He has more uh, game than me. He has, uh, you know, he, you know, you know, an older guy with a younger woman, you know, a lot of them older guys be running, be running game on the younger girls. But again, these girls be knowing that these guys, these older guys, that they be knowing that they shouldn't mess around with these older guys is what I'm going to say. But yet and still, that still doesn't stop them from messing around with these older guys. And you know why they um, don't care to mess with these older guys and why they don't um, basically uh, take their own advice or take their uh, parents' advice is because young, with young girls, it's all about, you know, the adrenaline rush and about, you know, how they feel at that particular moment. And a lot of these older guys make these younger girls feel you know validated they make them feel like they're on top of the world top of the moon because they getting grown dick they getting you know money they getting gifts out the shit you know what i'm saying they you know they getting benefits out of this shit right but yet you know they want to act like as if they innocent they don't know what the fuck is going on man let me tell you like this when I was coming up, there was this one particular club. There was like a teeny bopper club for teenagers, right? 
that me and my homeboys used to love going to because every time we would go there, it'd be a bunch of chicks there, you know, you know, niggas was on the wall getting rolled up and all kind of shit and, you know, you know, uh, uh, chicks was choosing, you know what I'm saying, all that kind of stuff, right? But then what would happen is, you know, we would get out of that club, you know, maybe an hour or two before our parents would show up to come pick us up, right? And let me tell you what these young, sneaky-ass, fast-ass little girls would do. What they would do is is they would go to the club, this little teeny bobble club. They would go to the club wearing some jeans or some, some or some capris or some shit like that, right? And what they would do is they would get to the damn place, and then they'll change out into some short-ass skirt, skimpy-ass shit, showing off they goodies, knowing damn what, what the fuck they was doing. And then when we would get out the club an hour or two ahead of time or ahead of schedule, next thing you know, here come these older niggas pulling up and they pulling up in cars and shit and next thing you know these same younger girls that claim or act like they don't know no better what they would do they would hop in these guys these older guys cars hop in their cars and shit and then they would peel off with these niggas and then they'll come back just in time to the damn club and be dropped off before their parents could find out what the fuck was really going on and it was right then and there that i realized that Girls at that age are very aware of what the fuck they're doing, and they're very conscious of the decisions that they make. They just don't want to be held accountable when somebody calls them out because women have realized, older women and young women have realized for years that all they have to do is play that I'm a female card, I don't know no better, you know, uh, because I'm a female, you know, uh, you know, you know, I, you know, I should get a pass because I'm a fe- I'm feminine and I'm, and you know, they'll, they'll bet their eyes at you and all this type of shit to make it seem like they innocent when really, let's be honest, man, a lot of these young girls, they know what the fuck they doing, bruh, like, you can't tell me that these young, and, and again, am I saying that you, uh, older guys fucking with, um, younger women is okay or underage women is okay no it's not okay the shit is fucking sick and it's fucking disgusting but at the end of the day you know we can't just put all the onus and all the blame on the fucking men when you got these girls that don't even some of these chicks don't even like talking to guys around their age it's in the same grade as them they'll rather talk to a nigga that's in college they'll rather talk to a nigga that's not in college but he grown as fuck and he got his own spot you know he probably hustling on the side or whatever the fuck it is he doing they would rather deal with that because you know to them it's 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 a it's a rush to them it's like i said it's like an adrenaline rush and to prove what i'm saying is correct if you go back and you look at that R. Kelly uh, trial, the first one, where the girl got on the stand and everything, right? You know, they tried to make it seem like, you know, and, even, and, and, and again, before I go forward, what I'm about to say, what R. Kelly did was very sickening. He's a he's a definitely a disturbed man and individual. He definitely needs some kind of uh, psychiatric help. You know, he definitely needs to uh, let go of a lot of demons that he has in him because you could tell he's a fucked up individual. But again, you know, the girl that uh he pretty much um urinated on she pretty much admitted that like look hey you know i was fully aware of him urinating on me i allowed him to do that to me and if i didn't want him to do that to me i would have just got up and moved out the fucking way now when she said that that spoke a lot of fucking values because again we still don't take fucking young girls for they were when when a young girl tells people that they were fully aware of something you should believe them but because we want to say oh they're young and naive they don't know no better bullshit because again back to me it's a lot of dirt i did when i was young when i was in high school and a lot of it i knew what i was doing but guess what there were certain lines and certain things that i really wouldn't want to do and cross because i knew like okay i could possibly get away with this over here because this is not really that severe but again if i try to do this man i don't know i might get in trouble i might get caught up i might you know what i'm saying and you know i knew i'm like you know what i don't need to be engaging in this i don't need to be fucking with this like that because this situation if i get caught up i might not be able to get myself out of this situation so damn easily so you know what i'm good on that but again that's the difference between a lot of men and a lot of women or even boys and girls for that matter a lot of men and boys we have to think about the shit that we do before we do it because if we don't it'll either cost us our freedom it'll cost us our life or 
it could cost us, you know, uh, financially. You know, we can uh, get uh, put out there as, you know, as this and that. And then now all of a sudden, we you know, we can't get jobs. We can't get hired because, you know, people are looking at us with a certain kind of um, disgust and disdain because of what we did that was some dumb shit that got us caught up in some shit that we can't even get ourselves out of now. You know what I'm saying? And so it's the same thing with these young girls, man. A lot of these young girls are very aware of what the fuck they doing. They're very aware of, you know, the decisions that they make. But then when the heat comes and when people try to, you know, hold them to the fire and hold them accountable, now all of a sudden it's I'm just a girl and I don't know no better. I'm young. I wasn't thinking. I was, you know, being emotional. I wasn't. Of course you're being emotional cuz that's what a lot of women are. A lot of women are very emotional. A lot of most a lot most women aren't very logical. And I'm not saying that as a diss. I'm just being honest. Mo- most women they think with their heart and not their brain. You know what I'm saying? And that's what gets them in a lot of trouble and that's why you have a lot of women that are in certain peculiar situations that they're in is because they didn't they thought with their heart instead of fucking thinking with their mind. And again, a boy can a, a boy or a man can't can't do that. We can't say we can't do some fucked up shit, get caught up and then say, Well, you know, I was sticking with my heart or I was in my feelings or I was being emo we can't say that. We don't have that freedom or that luxury to say that to where people are gonna take us seriously for that and say, Oh, you know what? You know what he? You know he he's right. You know we shouldn't. Uh, you know he he didn't know no better. He's just a young. No, they're not trying to hear that. They're gonna lock our black ass up. Either either that kill us or they're gonna just make it to where we can't go out in the real world in the corporate world get a job or anything like that. They're gonna try to basically, you know, uh, uh, you know, give us a felony or try to you know shame us and label us as this and that. When, when again, you know, I don't see the same energy when it comes to these young girls and these women you know um you know if a if a um if a old if a young guy uh if a young if an older guy let's say matter of fact you could have a guy right that's like 17 and let's say he's about to turn 18 and he's messing with a chick that's like 14 15 you know they'll label him a pedophile or whatever but you know say he's this and he's that but yet uh, a chick, a younger chick that's normally messing around with a grown adult, you know, they're not going to say shit about her. They're going to say she's a victim, but they're not going to call her out on, on the whole shit that she did. They're not going to say you was being a fast-ass little little girl, and this is why you got yourself caught up in this situation. You know what I'm saying? And and that's where I think a lot of men are frustrated and are, are tired of just hearing all these excuses and passes that women get that men will never be allowed to get ever period and that's why a lot of men are frustrated because it's like how can how can how can women better themselves and how can women you know learn from their mistakes and their wrongs if they aren't even willing to admit that they even made a mistake or did anything wrong in the first place and this is why you have a lot of guys that don't want to deal with these type of women you know if, if a woman is not willing to be accountable for her own fuck up and misdeeds and she tries to blame it on you or somebody else who had nothing to do with the situation then what that says is you don't need to be fucking with that type of woman period because she will always find herself in some peculiar bullshit and then try to pass it off on or you or somebody else like it's y'all fault when you had nothing to do with the situation. And then she'll play the victim card, you know, once, you know, the, the heat really turns up. When we all know you wasn't a victim, nine times out of ten, you was a willing participant because you wanted to have that thrill and that adrenaline rush of fucking with somebody that you knew you shouldn't have been fucking with in the first place. But because you on some sneaky shit and you know because you a female you know you could use that female card and that i'm emotional and all this type of card and i'm young and dumb and don't know nothing don't know nothing you know what i'm saying because you pull good because you know that you can pull that card out whenever you want to this is why you choose to make the same dumb ass fuck ass decisions when it comes to dealing with these older men now again i'm not letting these older men off the hook y'all are wrong i should be fucking with these young girls in the first place but again if we're gonna hold men to a certain standard and little boys to a certain standard and get on them and get on their case about some certain certain shit then we then it's the same should be applied to grown-ass women 
and young girls. You know, it should be straight down, straight evenly down the middle. Don't tell young boys and older men that they have to be accountable for everything that they do, but then you don't want to hold women accountable or younger uh, girls accountable for what they do. Nah, bro. Them days is over with. The days of fucking girls and women just getting away with shit just because of the fact that they're women and they're emotional and all that type of shit, them days is over with. Men nowadays ain't trying to hear that shit. We not trying to hear that shit. We just we just shake our head and be like, okay, whatever. What other lie you got to tell us? What, what, what other excuse you got to come up with to try to, you know, make us feel sorry or bad for you you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day women you have to be held to the same accountability that men and uh young men and uh older men are just like y'all women have to be held accountable to the same standard you know when it comes to older women and young women y'all have to be held accountable sorry i mean i know it doesn't feel good to be held accountable i know y'all used to y'all have been used to getting away with a lot of shit and you know motherfuckers overlooking this bullshit but again we're in a day and age now where you can't really hide anything this is this is this is one this is part of the issue that's wrong with social media is that now you can't hide anything. Now everything's out in the open. You know what I'm saying? Unless you don't post shit, which we all know a lot of people don't do not do because people got to be seen. People got to be heard and seen and liked and all that type of shit. You know, so people going to say what they want to say and people going to do what they do. But again, if you don't want to be called out for it, if you don't just eat, my, my two advices is this. Either don't get fucking caught or don't put it out there for people to, to judge and have an opinion on it. Because once it's out there, once you get caught, or once you put it out there yourself on your social media page or whatever the fuck, bro, you know, then everybody has a right to, to speak on it and say something about it. And that's really all I want to say. Um, again, this is my very first video um, recording some shit, man. So, again, um, you know, if, if I didn't sound super professional, I apologize for that. But, again, this is just me speaking my mind on something that I felt for a long time and I felt like needed to be addressed. And, you know, hopefully people will uh, see where I'm coming from and appreciate it. And I'm pretty sure I have some people that won't agree with me on this, but it is what it is. I said what I said. I meant what I meant. And, you know, I'm standing on what the fuck I said and what I meant. So, again, if you have an issue with it, okay, cool. If you don't, okay, cool. That's cool, too. But, again... This is uh, Third World Columbia, a.k.a. 3-Dub, a.k.a. 3-Dub-C, and I'm signing out. Peace.